Hello there, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at phrasal verbs. That's right. Let's look at some examples. Why don't you write it down? Okay, to write down, that's a phrasal verb. My sister always gets up early in the morning. Get up is a phrasal verb. And like good old Benjamin Franklin said, don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. And this is put off right there, the phrasal verb. So let's start with an introduction. A phrasal verb is a verb plus a particle. A particle can be a preposition or an adverb. There are three parts or three types of phrasal verbs. A. Type A. Verb plus adverb. Put off, turn down, break down. B. Verb plus preposition. Look after, wait for, talk about. Type C. Verb plus adverb plus preposition. Get on with, look forward to, run out of. Let's take a look at the example put off. So put is the verb, off is the particle. In this case, it's an adverb. Example, I put off my trip. It is the same as saying, I postponed my trip. The verb and the particle have a special meaning, of course. When you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. Let's take a look at put off again. To postpone, we said, put on. To cover your body with clothes. Put back to return something to its original place. And put into to improve. There are others. Some phrasal verbs using the same particle have more than one meaning. Let's take a look at put off again. To make somebody not want or like something. For example, my parents put me off the idea of religion forever. Or put off, it means here, prevent somebody from concentrating. Stop laughing, you'll put her off. Okay, so that's that. And the other meaning, let a passenger get off. So I'll put you off by the bus stop. So you can see there we have three different meanings with the same phrasal verb, put off. Phrasal verbs can have a literal or idiomatic meaning. Literal, that means word-for-word -word meaning. Example, the boy looked up at the sky or he walked across the square. Okay, so literal meaning. Idiomatic meaning using expressions that are natural to a native speaker. For example, she's looking after her old grandmother. Look after means take care. Or the other example, my car broke down last week. Breakdown means stop working. So, kinds of phrasal verbs. We have transitive, Phrasal verbs or intransitive phrasal verbs. Transitive, they can be separable, inseparable, or they are those ones that must be separated. The inseparable, they have the three-word verb. I will explain that in a minute. Transitive phrasal verbs. These verbs have objects. Example. Are you writing down these notes? These notes are, in this case, are because there are many notes, objects. I haven't called Mr. Wilson back. So call back is the phrasal verb and Mr. Wilson is the object. That's right. Intransitive phrasal verbs. These verbs do not have objects. Example, Donnie's car broke down. No object, as you can see. 
Jane grew up in a small town. No object here. Separable phrasal verbs. Most phrasal verbs are separable. The verb and the particle can be separated. This is what it means. It can be separated. When the object is a noun, you can put the noun after the particle, like in the example. Jimmy put on what? His coat. That's the object. Or put the noun between the verb and the particle. For example, Jimmy put what? His coat on. So you can see his coat is the object right there. When the object is a pronoun, you must put it between the verb and the particle. Like in this example, Jimmy put it on. You cannot say Jimmy put on it. That's incorrect. When to separate phrasal verbs? You can separate the verb and the particle when the object consists of just few words. For example, Mr. Wilson called his appointment off. Or, it seems a shame to chop that tree down. So we have just two words in this case for the object. When not to separate phrasal verbs. Of course, you cannot separate the verb and the particle when the object is longer than four words. For example, Mr. Wilson called off his 3.30 appointment with Dr. Smith. So you cannot separate that. It would be incorrect if you said Mr. Wilson called his 3.30 appointment with Dr. Smith off. That's incorrect. Inseparable phrasal verbs. The verb and the particle cannot be separated. With these verbs, you cannot put the object between the verb and the particle, even when the object is a pronoun. So, for example, you can say, yesterday I ran into Alan, okay? Or yesterday I ran into him, that's fine. But you cannot say, yesterday I ran Alan into, that's incorrect. Or yesterday I ran him into. Phrasal verbs that must be separated. There is a small number of these. With these verbs, you must put the object between the verb and the particle. Like in this example, Tina kept her jacket on. Okay. You cannot say Tina kept on her jacket. That's incorrect because keep on is always separated. You must separate these phrasal, in this case, this phrasal verb. Three word phrasal verbs. These verbs are usually inseparable. Phrasal verb plus a preposition. Let's take a look at them. Tina dropped out of school. So we have drop out, that's the phrasal verb, and then the preposition off. Or Joe went back to his country. So we have Phrasal verb, go back, and then preposition to. So, how can I learn the, the, the phrasal verbs? Well, one way is uh, to learn them by making your own sentences. Another way could be by reading and understanding its meaning by context. And finally, for some people, learning by heart helps. However, I disagree since the best way to learn a language is by using it and practicing every day. So use your phrasal verbs, learn them and use them every day. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, please type your question under the uh, video lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the video, please click on the like button. And if you want to share, you may. Until next time, bye-bye.